Hello and welcome to Info Lines of Information Biff. Right, finally. I've got my USA parcel. Finally. And I've got some comics. Minus a bend. And some Christmas presents. And another comic. Right, so nice little one for comics. Right, I didn't realise my subscription for on Forbidden Planet, because They've changed it now to um, Strange Academy Finals and stopped. So I had to restart that again. Luckily, I could, nothing big's happened, so I could um, collect, get hold of my comics. So that's the first one. And that is issue two. And if you see my other videos, I've got the one in 50 and everything. I'm trying to get hold of the one in 50. I've got in the US, I've got hold of one in 50 for. The, the final issue which is issue six and if you didn't know there's 24 issue run first set 1 to 18 Scott uh, Scott Young and uh, Humberto Ramos and this final six which is Strange Academy finals they, that's the end of Scotty Young doing it and Humberto Ramos doing the artwork in it because that was a deal he made so whether it will continue, whether something else is going to happen, I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed because I'd like to see it go put some heart and soul and do a good old story through, let's say, like a Harry Potter kind of thing. And I think it could be done, but I guess no one's got the guts to try that. So, or they'll try it with this TV series, which, whatever. Anyway, next comic. It's got a bend in it. What happens when the wife opens the door and doesn't bother to actually look before she opens it? She creases it up against the wall. Not not postal damage, wife will damage. So, I've still got the bag and board these. This will be issue three. And obviously, I read these digitally so I don't damage my comics. Helps it hold it the right way up. So, Love that artwork on the front of that one. So we'll see what more, more is happening as well in the story. I'm hoping it's for something big towards the end. So, right, next thing. Boys got me Christmas present. Well, they're little, so they don't realise to go to the shops and do some. But, so we kind of got a present for the boys to get us. So the wife and I decided on this. And I had to get it. A thousand piece comic jigsaw. So I'm going to go live another day and uh, I'm going to get this started. And people can laugh how long it takes. So, but I had to get this really good. So, for everyone out there, uh, all my comic friends, yes, it's a bit sad, but why not? Right, next piece. Not much in it in my USA box, but. It doesn't cost very much to, it only costs like uh, $25 to send it from the US. So, I had to get some little comics. So, now, one of these is a little proving for me, because uh, Comic Man Andy, who I get on pretty well with, I think, um, he was talking about a comic and I hadn't seen it. So he was my bad influence. So I thought, he said, oh, if you can try and find it, like, you can't find this comic anywhere. So mm, I like a challenge because everyone tells me you can't find this, can't get hold of this, can't get hold of it cheap. So what do I do? I go and find it. So straight away, I got the Hidden Empire issue one and it's the Darth Maul one. And... That was easy to get. Uh, what did I get? Uh, I got it from Unknown Comics, I think. And I got it half price. I didn't even pay, um, I think, is it the one in 25 or one in 50? I didn't pay 50. I got it half price. Or even less, because they, they had discount on there. And that was the same day. And I showed Andy that, Comic Man Andy, that I could get it. So, 
I don't know how these things, if I had tons of money, I could have get some brilliant bargains, but I like it when I, things just head my way nicely without breaking my bank. So the next one is the one in 25 for issue three. Yeah, it is issue three. I'm not getting all of these, but I had to get that one because just look at the artwork on there. With Emily Bright going a little bit wrong. Had to get that. Brilliant. And it says Jetpack Comics on the back there. I can't remember where I got it from now. And my final buy for the US is I got a free comic with it, which is pretty nice. I got Ninjas and this is from Eric Claus, and he does some brilliant artwork, and a lot of it's turtles and bits and bobs, so I had to get this, and it's Ninjas and Robots, issue five, and I got some stickers. Brilliant, but that's not why I bought it. If you've seen any of my early videos, which some of you will do, some of you won't, if not, go back and check some of my early videos. I'm silently big on the turtles, but I don't go too much, too much on it, because... I don't want to spend too much money but I found out he did a issue 100 wraparound and I love wraparounds I'm a sucker for wraparounds and he does remarks so I found this and this all this was was what is it 20 or 30 dollars delivered with his remark on and it's got, little, you could say it's coloured in a little bit because the eyes are white and teeth are white and the little bandage, plaster, band-aid is white. But, and obviously, that's Leonardo. I would have liked, I would have liked Donatello, but I didn't want to pick and be picky, so I can't complain. But look at that. Excellent. Really like that. I was tempted to, he was doing Ninja and Robots 1 blank edition and you bought that for like twenty dollars on the black friday offer or something or halloween offer and he would have remarked for you as well but i was saving pennies i should have put it on but but no that's the tim danger Mountain ninja turtles issue 100 and i'll show you what the full wraparound looks like because i half want to keep this sealed as it is i think unless i get it um graded at C um, CBCS, but love that to bits. So that's my king out of here. Obviously, Strange Academy. I love from Strange Academy, so I love those two. I love Star Wars. So nice little box, nothing too extreme. So just skip through again. Strange Academy, Star Wars. My jigsaw because I'm getting old and you've got to do jigsaws when you get old, keeps the brain ticking. And the Strange Academy standard issues. So, thank you for watching. Nice little short video again. So, come again, check me out, like, subscribe. And if you, and like anyone else says, if you don't didn't like it, press it, uh, press uh, unlike twice. So, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one. And goodbye.